Hello everyone, welcome back. So without any delay, let's start the video. Preservation and maintenance of microorganism means if you want to preserve your microorganism means you want that this microorganism you will work in future or you you will work after some days. So how you will preserve that microorganism so that it can be used in future. Or you can say how you can maintain the microorganism so that it can grow properly and can be used whenever you want. So that is means to store the microorganism in such a way that it will not alter its genetic material and it also protect it against contamination and retain its viability. So these are these steps they are known as preservation means to preserve your strain for the future use. So these are some methods of preservation like first agar slant culture. In this that after the inoculation in agar the slants are incubated for the period of 24 hours and then they are stored in refrigerator. But these culture they require periodical transfer means you have to transfer them after a fixed interval of time so that you can make them or you can maintain them in a viable state. Second method is saline suspension. In this the high concentration of sodium chloride that is the sodium chloride is a inhibitor of bacterial growth. So the high concentration of sodium chloride is used and then the bacterial they are the bacteria they are suspended in 1% salt solution in screw cap tubes to prevent the evaporation. Then these tubes they are stored at room temperature and transferred are made on the agar slant means they can be stored at room temperature and they can be used to make the agar slants. Next the method of storage or you can say method of preservation is stored at the reduced temperature or stored at very low temperature. So generally the culture which are grown on the agar slopes they may be stored in refrigerator or freezer which have the minus 20 degree centigrade but they also required subculture at approximate 6 month of interval. But we can also store our culture in liquid nitrogen which have minus 196 degree centigrade temperature. So this technique it first involve growing you can say growing the culture to maximum stationary phase and then resuspending the cells or resuspending the bacterial cells in the cryoprotective agent like glycerol dimethyl sulfoxide. Why we are suspending our cells in the cryoprotecting agent because when our cells will store to this very much low temperature that is minus 196 degree centigrade then there will be the formation of ice crystal which may damage the cells to prevent the formation of eye crystal we use this cryoprotecting agent then this frozen culture they are kept in liquid nitrogen flask or refrigerator and this is the one of the suitable method for long term preservation of the cells that do not survive freeze drying next storage in the dehydrated form means we can also store our culture by removing the water from it or by converting it into powder form. That technique is known as the lyophilization. In this technique, so it involves the freezing of culture which is followed by drying under vacuum which results in the sublimation of water. And then the microbial suspension is placed in small vials and thin film is frozen over inside the surface of vial by rotating it in a mixture of dry ice, alcohol or acetone at a temperature of minus 78 degree. These vials are connected to high vacuum line and this dried organism while it is still frozen. And finally the ampules they are sealed off to the vacuum, uh, sealed off in the vacuum with a small flame and these culture can be stored for several years. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.